Hello guys, welcome back to Django React GWT playlist. In this previous video, I have explained how to create custom user model in Django. In this video, I'm gonna test the API endpoints using Insomnia application before I apply it in React application. You can try it with this application or another application such as Postman. Okay, at first run the Django server and open admin site. Open your user model. I have only two users here. Now click home and select email addresses. When you apply Django all out, it will give you an email address model separate from user model. You can see there is no data in the model. It's happened because when you create user with create use super user in the terminal or create user in admin site, it doesn't automatically add email in email address model. It will be added automatically if you create a new user with sign up form. The next, you can try click add email address. Email address model have four fields. Those are user, email address, verify, and primary. User is foreign key referred to user model. Email address is email field. Verify and primary is boolean field. Verify email will be true if you have verified your email address. Primary mean the email address is your main email address. In other words, you can have more than one email when you apply Django out. In order to test your API endpoints, you can add email in email address model manually and set verify and primary to be true. The next, open the GRES out documentation to see which API points were provided by the GRES out. Then select API endpoints. You can see all API points were provided by DJRS out. I'm gonna use all of this except social media authentication. I still use social media authentication, but I will try it in React application directly, not in Insomnia application. Now, open Insomnia application. At first, I'm gonna test login API. Click plus sign and select HTTP request. In new request, click triangle upside down and select rename to be login. Open the JRS out documentation. You can see login has post request method and you need to send username, email, password. In this case, you don't have username field in your custom user model. So you can send only email and password for login. Copy the API path for login. Change it to be post. Write your Django development server path in HTTP localhost 8000. And paste the login path from DJRS out. Click body and select JSON and write the data that you need to post. In this case, the data are email and password. And send. You can see the request give you response in the form of access token, refresh token, and user data. Then, you can try user API point. That endpoint has get put and patch method. That means you can get user information or change the data of the user except for password. 
because in order to change password, it has its own API endpoint. Copy the path of the NPI point. You can create new request by click plus sign and name it user. Write the Django development server and paste the NPI point for user. For this API, you need authentication. Click out and select barrier token. Open login request and copy access token and paste it in barrier token. And send. If it gives you respond message, token is invalid or expired, you need to get new access token. You can find API endpoint for refresh. To get new access token, you need to send refresh token. Do that in Insomnia application. Don't forget to copy the path for refresh. The next, make new HTTP request and try refresh API point. Now you get new access token. Copy the token and paste it in bear token in user API. Now you can get the information of user from that API. You can try change your first name or last name. I will try change my first name. You can see my first name has been changed. Then you can try verify API. It gives you empty JSON. If your token is invalid, you can send again refresh token and get new access token. The next, try change password. You have changed your password. Now you can try sign up. I get respond verification email sent. When you test sign up API, you need to use real email because it will send you link for verification to your email. Now, you can check your email to click the verification link.
you will get error link because you have not handled it. But this is not problem. You only need to copy the key argument in the path. Then create new HTTP request for email verification. Before you send the request, try to check the new user in admin site. Check it in email address model. You can see the new user has not verified his email. Then you can try to send email confirmation API. Now, open the admin site again and compare the verify field after send email confirmation request. Now the email has been verified. The next, you can test reset password and password confirmation API. But before you test it, you need to create new path in urs.py and give the path name password underscore reset underscore underscore confirm. Now, you can try Reset Password and Reset Password Confirmation API. Now you have success reset your password. The next, you can create React application, but we will do it in the next video. Okay guys, thanks for watching. If you think this video is useful, please subscribe, comment, and share. See you in the next video. Bye.